and the love for Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam and his, and his mother. Do you think there's a misunderstanding that they don't know that Muslims believe in Jesus? Yes, there is a great misunderstanding and I even faced it by my own family and myself. Mm -hmm. They all question me many times, mm -hmm. why don't you believe in Jesus? It's true you don't believe in Jesus? Mm -hmm. And I correct them, I tell them, no, we believe in Jesus, we love him so much. Mm -hmm. But as a messenger and a prophet of God, not as God. Mm -hmm. So that, you know, after that, that's when everything turns upside down. Mm -hmm. that's right. And have you ever, have you been able to go to, for Umrah or for the Hajj yet? No, not yet, but inshallah, I ask Allah to inshallah. provide me with rizq. And in a couple of years, inshallah. Well, Abdurrahman Castro, it was very nice to meet you. Alhamdulillah, really. Uh, I tell the people, the stories are amazing that we have from the Muslims and the way they came to Islam and even where they came from. So, inshallah, Allah will continue to guide you inshallah. along the straight path of Islam. And inshallah, we'll see you again sometime at Hajj there in inshallah. Saudi Arabia. We're here with our sister in, in Islam, Hana Wari. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Uh, can you just tell us a bit about yourself and, and how you became Muslim or if you were already Muslim? Or? I was born Muslim, alhamdulillah. Uh -huh. uh, my mother converted right. uh, after she married my dad and right. uh, living in Canada all my life. Right. And uh, I love coming to the... And now, now you're from Canada. What is, what is the life like for Muslims in Canada? I mean, are there a lot of Muslims in Canada? And Where I grew up, actually, uh, I lived in the country on yes. a farm. Right. And uh, I was the only Muslim in my high school, my public school. Right. So um, it was challenging. You live but, in a remote area. Yeah, you could call it the boonies. You could call it remote. Right. And right. Uh, but um, I didn't have any. I mean, there was, of course, some prejudice. Yes. French Canadians, especially where I'm living. Right. And prejudice in which way? I mean, against Muslims or against people who weren't French? Well. Not French and not Catholic. Right. And um, just you're, you know, you're different. Uh huh. I'm white. Yes. And I'm not Arab. Right. I mean, half Arab, but I right. don't look it. Yeah. Um, and. Uh, I mean, in your interaction with people on a daily basis, what are some of the common issues they ask you as a Muslim lady? Because you must stand out. A little bit. Yeah. Um, why do you put that thing on your head, of course? Uh huh. And, um, you know, we are in Canada now, be Canadian. Uh -huh. But what does that mean to them, be Canadian? Blend in like everybody else. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I, I mean, is this the attitude of a majority of Canadians, that they think everyone in Canada, because you said there's French Canadian, like in, in Montreal, they're not trying to be like the other people. You know, they like to, they're separatists, and right. they like to keep it French French. You won't see any English signs in the Quebec side, period. Right. right. So um, it's just a matter of people having open minds. Uh -huh. but I have to say that Canadians um, are a lot more open-minded than mm -hmm. the Americans that, I mean, uh, lived in the States also. Okay, so. So you say they're more open-minded. What is the media like in Canada and the way they cover Islam and Muslims? Is it comparable to how it is in the States or do you find it's different? Yes, they don't, the Canadians don't scare or don't make Muslims, even living here, seem evil. Evil yes. or as scary. Uh -huh. And the, the ones in the states, the media, uh -huh. they kind of tarnish. Right. So, so you feel that, tarnishes, that, yeah. that the Muslims in Canada feel the media is being fairer with them. Fairer, but not a hundred percent. But the Americans, not so much. Right. And about Dawah and people accepting Islam, how is it for women to accept Islam? Do you find a lot of women coming to Islam in Canada? Yes, especially if they marry into it. I mean, if they're introduced to it they're interested in their right. future husbands or so on. But let me ask you about that. You said marry into it. Do, do you find a lot of people accept Islam just to get married or actually this was the door for them and then they found out about Islam? That's exactly it. That's what I, I think has happened for, for different people. I mean, everybody has their own circumstances. Right. But um, I can speak from, from my experience with my mother right. that, um, I mean, even though my father wasn't very religious when they met, right. but when they started having children and family, it became more and more important. Right. And uh, well, they, my mom puts a scarf and, uh -huh. and pray 